us in the church and the healing of creation let us to new birth to live as your children. Strengthen our faith in your promises that by your spirit we may lift up your life to all the world through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now for the reading. The Good News from God, from Romans chapter 5. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. As I open my my readings. A prayer. Dear God, thank you for this time to share your message. Bless these words that they may bring hope to all who hear. Amen. This is the fifth week of Lent. Tonight, there should have been a meal served before our worship service. Sharing a meal is always a great time of fellowship a time to relax and visit with friends. But tonight, there was no meal, no relaxing and talking and sharing with friends. Instead, the church is empty and dark, except for the few that are here delivering the message. 
The city of Austin is dark and empty of the hustle and bustle that is so familiar. As of today, the order has been given to stay in place, to stay in our homes. The situation is frightening with so many unknowns. There is a new normal in homes. Schools closing, recreation facilities closing, long lines at the grocery store, isolation from friends and family. These are but a few of the changes I see today. There are many at home away from the job that provided the income to sustain the family. In addition to the pandemic, there are those battling cancer and other diseases. There are families grieving the loss of loved ones. It is in this context that I find myself with the challenge of delivering a message of hope. What message of hope can I bring? Looking back at our reading, therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Sufferings are the darkest times in our lives and the hardest to keep hope alive. Sufferings are dark times, but our passage tells us that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. It is in the darkest moments that the light of God can shine the brightest. At my house, I don't look for the flashlight until the lights go out, and then I look to find it. The flashlight did not cause the lights to go out, but it provided the light for me to see. That is how I would describe sufferings. God does not create them. He provides the light for us to see our way through the darkness. Isaiah 41, 13, For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. God promises to be with you always. My first darkness came in 1974. It was at that time that I accepted Christ into my life. The next 40 years I lived with Christ, the foundation of my life. During those years, my family lived a military life until settling in Austin in 1984. I repeated my favorite verses often, taught Sunday school and vacation Bible school, and would witness that I was a strong believer. God was always with me but I wasn't fully with God. 2013 was a very dark period of my life, and I again needed God's light. In the course of a 30-minute, 30 30-day 30 Bible reading challenge, challenge, God challenged me. Full of anxiety, I was reading John 14.1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe in me, Jesus. A still voice from deep inside said, You either believe that I am God in my promises, or you do not believe. It was a very powerful moment. It was a simple request. Believe. Believe. Simply believe as a child, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Children's faith is simple. They don't spend hours researching answers to deep theological questions. They don't ask for proof. They simply believe, Jesus loves me. 
This simple children's song has a powerful message. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. With those words in my heart and a complete surrender of myself to God, my anxiety lifted and a peace that passes all understanding enveloped me. If anxiety and fear creep back into my soul, I know that God is within me and his peace replaces the anxiety and fear. God is only asking this, believe, believe you are loved, believe my promises. God shares his love for you in the words of the Bible, God's love letter to you. God promises to be with you always. Nothing can separate you from God's love. Therefore, faith is born from believing God's promises and hope is born from faith. And hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. There are 14 days left in our Lenten journey. Use this time of isolation as Jesus used his time in the desert. The noise of routine life has been removed. Listen for how God is speaking to you. Read his word, asking in prayer for understanding. God is the shining light in the darkness. Let his light shine on you. Amen.
Let us gather our prayers into one as we pray the prayer our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Creator of the stars of night, we give you thanks for this gift of life. Increase our faith and open our eyes that we might recognize Jesus in all whom you call us to love and serve. Abide with us as darkness deepens and be our hope and highest joy until at last, with all your saints, we dwell in your unfailing light. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. 